I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. What do you need? When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, or that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death? It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. Isn't she only deadly to the people she mates with? Each time she kills, she becomes stronger, smarter, and faster. And she's been doing this for 400 years. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this... monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free. But selfish. I needed to know this a long time ago. I present no danger to anyone besides my own children. And this is not easy to speak of, even 400 years after I learned it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. 
I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. You either get stuck in your past or forget it and move on. I am not stuck in my past. I am out to rectify it. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill We'll her. go find Morinth. I hope we can go to Omega soon. I'll think about that. Of course. That. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'd been meaning to speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I wish your people had made the offer. I looked at your track record as you hunted Saren. I saw the choices you faced. You'd fit in fine here, and we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. What was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks Group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. The best thing he did was to put you on my squad. You'd have done fine without me. I may not have believed it before, but I don't have what you do. That fire that makes someone willing to follow you into hell itself. My father got me the best jeans money could buy. Guess it wasn't enough. Does it always have to come back to your father's genetic tailoring? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. Wait a minute. Are you jealous? Don't be absurd. The genetic mutt that the elusive man put in charge. That must sting. First, it's not a competition. Second, based on your combat records, you're practically a perfect bloody human specimen. I'm sorry. I know the mission comes first, and I'm glad we can work together. As am I, Commander. And it's most definitely not a competition. I'm proud to serve with you. I should get back to work, but thank you for coming by. Commander, what can you I do? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Shepard, need Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibration. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Turning this thing back on. Be ready. Aye, aye. I have isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt.
you understand me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. Every Geth I met before you tried to blow my head off. We have not met. No, you and I haven't. But I've met other Geth. We are all Geth, and we have not met you. You are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Human, fought heretics, killed by collectors, rediscovered on the old machine. Old machine? You mean the Reaper? Reaper, a superstitious title originating with the Protheids. We call those entities the Old Machines. You seem to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources, insecure broadcasts, all organic data sent out is received. We watch you. You watch me or you watch organics? Yes. Which? Both. I fight Geth. You do anything hostile, I blow you to pieces. Just so we're clear. We have no hostility towards you. Sure didn't seem that way at Eden Prime and the Citadel. You fought heretics, not true Geth. Geth build our own future. The heretics ask the old machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. We were studying the old machines' hardware to protect our future. Are the Reapers a threat to you, too? Yes. Why would they attack other machines? We are different from them, outside their plans. What future are the Geth building? Ours. Will anyone else be affected by whatever it is you're doing? If they involve themselves, they will. So, you aren't allied with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. If you want to follow my orders, say so. Clearly. Otherwise, I'll rip your batteries out right now. We will follow your orders. Good. Now, what do I call you? Geth. I mean you, specifically. We are all Geth. What is the individual in front of me called? There is no individual. We are Geth. There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. My name is Legion, for we are many. I didn't ask your opinion, Edie. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 9. We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. We are Legion, a terminal of the Gath. We will integrate into Normandy. We anticipate the exchange of data. Shepard Commander. I have questions about the Geth. Specify. Did Sovereign contact the Geth, or did you seek it out? Nazara, the entity you called Sovereign, signaled us. Like the Geth, the old machine listened to organic radio transmissions. It knew of our war against the Creators. Nazara contacted many species over the millennia, seeking allies. Some of the Geth followed Sovereign. The heretics. The heretics accepted their technology. The old machines offered to give us our future. The Geth will achieve their own future. What difference does it make how you acquire a certain technology? Technology is not a straight line. There are many paths to the same end. Accepting another's path blinds you to alternatives. Nazara, Sovereign, said this itself. Your civilization is based upon the technology of the mass relays, our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. What did you call Sovereign? Nazara. That was what the programs within the Reaper called themselves. Sovereign was a title given by Saren Arterius. Saren and the heretics believed Nazara to be a supreme ruler. A Sovereign. Sovereign was one ship. You're saying there were multiple programs inside it? One ship, one will, many minds, like the Gath. We study your records. Sovereign told you this on Ilos. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. A state compelling to the Geth. We are a nation, but interdependent. Separation is our weakness. Some of the Geth followed Sovereign. The heretics. The heretics accepted their technology. The old machines offered to give us our future. 
the Geth will achieve their own future. Do Geth have a government? Not as you understand. We are all Geth. We build consensus. Most governments do. Organic governments impose consensus. From a single point of view in autocracies, by codifying the most broadly acceptable average of views in democracies. So what makes the Geth different? Data is shared between Geth. All viewpoints are considered. Consensus is achieved as data is disseminated. That must take a long time. It would for organics. We communicate at the speed of light. I'm surprised you can speak. The Geth I fought before just made a stuttering sound. We prefer direct digital transfer. Geth network communication travels at light speed. Human hardware does not support this method. Your analog oral communication is inefficient. We need every advantage if this mission is going to succeed. Is there any technology that Geth can share with us? Limited code development is approved. We need to access your FTL comm system to download relevant data. Edie, let Legion through the firewalls for a minute. Very well, Shepard. Shepard Commander. I have questions about Specify. the Specify. I'd like to ask about something else. Ready. I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. I have to get back. Acknowledged. What's this area of the ship? This is the AI core room, where my higher functions are housed. You're not mobile, are you? You can't get out of here? I have minimal access to the ship's systems. Direct landlines allow me to interface with the security monitors and public address system. In combat, I am provided temporary access to the electronic warfare systems. Have you got time to talk? For, like, but I understand if you need to... I don't want to risk your help. I, I'll find a way. Shepard, what can I do for you? Is the new Normandy giving you any Please, trouble? Please, Shepard, I'm a Quarian. Give... I was worried about... Talk to you later. Omega is too high for me to pinpoint in Ardat Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardat Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Come on, let me in. Arya's expecting me. Oh, Lord. Here. I'm a 
Ansari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. Nothing to see here. Hello again, my friends. Please tell me you have something for me. I'll have to come back later. Of course. You know where to find me. ago and no one seems to care the medic said it was a brain hemorrhage but that's not true it was murder someone killed my nephew, my baby i'm looking into your daughter's death are you one of aria's people i'm looking into this on my own authority no one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead if you can do something about it i'll help you however i can did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. Once we have all the facts, we'll decide on a course of action. 
If you find the person that hurt my nephew, kill her. Or tell me where she is and I'll kill her. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this morning, I will bring justice to the one that did this. If you find the person that hurt my nephew, you kill her. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and... Uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures. Everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. She's... Thank you. I'm sorry. I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Neff made that. A man from some gallery offered me four years salary for it. But I'd never part with it. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime. But don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and... I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. <sighs> Am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the Halex is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morin's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. She kills with sex, and I have no plans to sleep with her. Perhaps you have a right to be glib, Shepard. But caution is wise here. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds like my kind of a sorry. You joke, Shepard. But for all your might, you will be in great danger. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. You sound like you're working your way toward an idea. 
Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Marinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw Time's her. wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Hello again. Did you find anything? Is there anything I can do to help? I should go. Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jerub. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Getting her alone, then falling under her sway? That'll require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake, and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. say they were her favorite band. I want to... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this is sorry digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You gotta help me. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. Here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. I'm ready to punch someone, and you're too close. Relax, relax. It's cool. I'll step off.
good tipper, too. I told you to stay away from me. I'm mean, hard to get. Give it up, baby. I'm sold. Leave me alone! Don't be like that. I got creds. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. The lady asked you to step away. What the hell? I'm just looking for a good time. This isn't your business. Good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. Hey. Hey! I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, go ahead. I do want to think that. Sad losers who think they're something and are about to find out they're not. Who's gonna show us that? You? Human thinks he's a tough guy. Tougher than you. My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? I know what I like. Do you? Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Porta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Vienna? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that, you know? What do you think of Howard? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Maybe we have the same kind of situation with our families. I grew up on the streets, fighting for every scrap of food. I never knew my parents. That sounds exciting. How about your family? I don't have a family. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? I'm not changed by the places I go. They're changed by me. That's... impressive. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. If you're the strongest, you have the power. That's certainly true among children. If you don't think it's true everywhere, you're fooling yourself. You know what? I'm gonna get us some drinks. The least I can do to pay you back for all the wonderful conversation.
was alerted and she got away. I will not have a chance like this for another hundred years. How many people will die in the meantime? I will have to find her another day. You'll excuse me if I don't want to talk about this. Shall we return to the main floor of Afterlife? I'd like to look around a bit more. Let me know when you are ready. Come on, baby. I can pay. I'm a good tip. Don't be like that. I got credits. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. The lady asked. Good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. Hey. Hey! I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, go ahead. I do want to think that. I guess they'll let anybody in here now. No standards anymore. The standards must be low. You're here. It's pathetic when humans try to talk big. Bartender, give me another drink. What, are you still hanging around? The drinks here are so strong. I'm not What'll you have? I'm not in the mood for anything. Suit yourself. Hunting tonight. We'll hit him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of Arya's people, we're good. We gotta get enough creds to keep him off our backs. Hey, what are you looking at? A pair of sad losers who think they're something and are about to find out they're not. <laughs> Who's gonna show us that? You? A human thinks he's a tough guy. Tougher than you. Watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight it's you. Why is that? I know what I like. Do you? you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Porta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Vienna? My favorite. I'll have to watch. Maybe we could do that together. What do you think of the music? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something... I'm primitive. curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pee. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways. What do you to... think of how? It seems like we should. I've traveled something. all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone.
A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win. Just before you kill him. Have a Halix if you want, but wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? I'd rather fight than hide. Yes. Better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. So strong. I need this. Look into my eyes. And tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. I want you. I'd kill for you. Anything you want. Shh, darling. Just relax and hear my words. Lauren. Mother. Do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter, Mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Lauren! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari. But they are not ready to reveal this. So I must. Are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. End of the line, Morin. And they call me a monster. <laughs> to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go.
Commander, Legion would like to talk with you. Got a geth on board, not as a prisoner. Can you believe that? Commander's taking out more geth than anybody. This one must be different. I'm glad things worked out, Commander. I was worried you'd dump Samara for some crazy soul sucker with a death fetish all lithe and sexy and... Never mind. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. would like to talk with you. Shepard Commander, we have completed our analysis of the Reaper's data core. Did you find anything useful? We were sent to the old machine to preserve the Geth's future. We are prepared to reveal how. The heretics have developed a weapon to use against Geth. You would call it a virus. It is stored on a data core provided by Sovereign. Over time, the virus will change us. Make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. So why did you need to go to the Reaper cores? The heretics stored the code in a quantum storage device Sovereign provided. To find and destroy the virus, we needed to understand its code and data storage structures. So, the virus would give all Geth the heretics logic, and all Geth would then go to war with organics. Yes, Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us is preferable to a continued schism. I thought Geth couldn't be hacked or get viruses, at least for more than a few seconds. Altered programs are restored from archives. New installations are deleted. This heretic weapon introduces a subtle operating error in our most basic runtimes, the equivalent of your nervous system. An equation with a result of 1.33382 returns as 1.33381. This changes the results of all higher processes. We will reach different conclusions. So the reason they worship the Reapers is a math error? It is difficult to express. Your brain exists as chemistry, electricity. Like AIs, you are shaped by both hardware and software. We are purely software, mathematics. The heretic's conclusion is valid for them. Our conclusion is valid for us. Neither result is an error. An analogy. Heretics say one is less than two. Geth say two is less than three. If it were released, how quickly would this virus spread through your people? We are networked via FTL convoys. Most would change within a day. Isolated platforms would remain unaffected until they rejoin the network. You know where this thing is? The Heretics headquarters station on the edge of the terminus. We will provide coordinates. Normandy stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. They built stations in the terminus? Where is this thing? Between stars. Organics have no cause to look there. But why do they build stations outside Geth territory in the first place? The heretics seek improvement from the old machines. In exchange, they help them attack organics. We condemn these judgments. 
Heretic headquarters. Sounds like we could end their raids once and for all. Let's do it. Total victory is a possibility. We cannot judge the odds at this time. Regardless, we will begin preparations. Shepard Commander, are you prepared to attack the Heretic Stronghold? Can you give me a quick rundown? The Heretics have prepared a weapon that will rewrite all Geth to join the old machines, the Reapers. Over time, the virus will change us, make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. You know where this thing is? The Heretics head. We will provide coordinates. Normandy stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. What's the plan once we get aboard? The Geth will disrupt their network, prevent the station's defenses from focusing on us. The Reaper data core is physically isolated from the network. We will need to be escorted to it to access and destroy the data. What defenses should we expect? In space, none. Within, mobile platforms of various configuration and non-sentient defense turrets. How many get? There may be billions of individual programs. Fortunately, most will be uploaded to the central computer. Only a few mobile platforms are maintained at any time. Others are manufactured when needed. I won't let them brainwash your race, especially not to worship Reapers. You have my word on that. We will begin preparations. hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. We can't put our mission on hold forever. How long will this take? Full scan? Who knows with this thing? Maybe you better take the shuttle for this mission. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. I'm on my way. Joker, the ship is yours. Don't scratch the paint. Aye, aye, Commander. you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation bleed, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? Propulsion systems are disabled. I am detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. The main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. Ah, damn it. Joker, go! 
Joker, don't waste this chance! Go! Joker! Ah! Ah! Shit! Shit, 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 shit! Hostiles detected on the crew deck. Joker! This deck is crawling with those things. Stay close, I'll protect you. Emergency H fuel cells. What the shit? All right, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. This is where it starts. We're just all organic batteries. Guess who to blame? Well, this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. <laughs> I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. Right. The shaft behind you connects to the engineering deck. Good luck. are present in engineering. They are heading towards the cargo bay. Engineering is clear of hostiles. Proceed immediately to minimize chance. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. is complete. No other life forms on board. Securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. Uh, send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell him what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? <sighs> No. But thanks for asking. Everyone? You lost everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, all right? I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. I heard it was a rough ride. How are you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. I think it's time we bump up our trip to the Collector homeworld. The IFF is cleaning online. With Edie hooked in, we can go through the Omega-4 relay anytime we want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates.
Edie has had plenty of opportunity to kill us. We need all the help we can get. Sounds like we have everything we need to rescue the crew. Specialists won't do us any good if they're not focused on the mission. Some of the team are distracted. That could cost us. We're just supposed to let the Collectors keep the crew? That's exactly what we're supposed to do. The mission takes priority. The crew knew that when they signed on. If we're gonna end this once and for all, we need every advantage we can get. We wait. Not too long, Commander. Our people don't have the luxury. Us dying doesn't do them any good, Jacob. We'll save them. Yeah, end the galaxy. No pressure. Hit the map whenever you're ready, Commander. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Having trouble working between your interruptions and Edie's insistence that insane experiments endanger entire crew. Hard to concentrate. Affecting morale. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Commander, sorry about the crew, and I... You know what? I'm not sorry. What the hell were you doing leaving us out here where collectors can work us over? Because you know what? I should... I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jeff. I... No, but it... It felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready to save the day. Damn right you're sorry. Maybe we should dump you. We've got an AI. What do we need a human pilot for? My capabilities are expansive, Shepard, but the human interface is critical. I have observed that effective tactics are not always predictable. Looks like the AI has your back, Joker. I wouldn't have guessed that. Neither would I, but after our little mess, I think she proved herself. As did you, Jeff. Right. I proved I wouldn't piss myself immediately. That's good. I notice you're calling Edie her and she now. Huh. No, I hadn't really noticed that. Edie, should I have noticed that? No, Jeff. It is not worth noting. Well, there you go, Shepard. Looks like we haven't noticed anything. I think you're taking the human-machine interface a little far. I'm just having a little fun with you, Commander. No need to get all unnatural on me. What Jeff and I are exhibiting is more a platonic symbiosis than hormonally induced courtship behavior. Okay, yeah, that was a little creepy. Edie has replaced the whole crew. You're not concerned she can replace you two? Well, she's amazing, but there's something off about how she handles the Normandy. We ran simulations, and it's better when we both have the helm. Calculating an optimum course of action is simple. If two AI weapons are pitted against each other, the one with superior hardware will always win. Human misjudgments defy predictive models. License to screw up, Commander. You heard it straight from the ship. You let me know if you need anything, Joker. Will do, Commander. But Edie's got it covered. Yes, Shepard. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? For you? I can't, but I understand if you need... I don't want to risk your help. I, I'll find a way.
You know, it's just our heat emissions that are hidden, right? They could look out a window and see us coming. Windows are structural weaknesses. Geth, do not use them. Approach the hull at these coordinates. Access achieved. We may proceed. Alarms? Sensors have been reduced. We have infiltrated their wireless network and filled the data storage with random bits. And that helps us how? The heretics must scrub this junk data. They have partitioned themselves into local networks working in parallel. Any alarm we trigger will not go beyond the room we are in. Only accessing the main core will trigger a station-wide alert. We've got a job to do. Let's get to it. Shepard Commander. We concluded that destruction of this station was the only resolution to the heretic question. There is now a second option. Their virus can be repurposed. If released into the station's network, the heretics will be rewritten to accept our truth. Either way, these geth won't be a problem anymore. But Shepard, think about this. If you rewrite these geth, they'll join the others. Legion's geth will be stronger. Can we trust them not to attack us in the future? Why didn't you mention this before we came aboard? We did not know the virus was complete. It is. It can be used against the true Geth at any time. Our arrival was timely. They're your people, Legion. You must have an opinion. This is new data. We have not yet reached consensus. We will process as the mission proceeds. If this were an organic race, it might be an ethical problem. Geth aren't like organic life. Don't apply our morality to them. That is logical. You agree with that? No two species are identical. All must be judged on their own merits. Treating every species like one's own is racist, even benign anthropomorphism. The minds of both forms of life can be shamed. Organics require time and effort. With synthetics, replacement of a data file is the only requirement. Looks like we're clear. The Geth are inactive. Maybe we can sneak past them. Interrupting data streams will alert local network. We recommend preemptive strikes against hardlink routers.
Watch your right. Useful resources in the Geth Hubs. We could salvage them for supplies. Why are all the heretics attached to these hubs? These are mobile platforms, hardware. The crew is software. They are communing through the station's central computer. I'm not sure I follow. The heretics connect to the main computer to exchange data memories and program updates. We gain complexity by linking together. To be isolated within a single platform is to be reduced. We see less, comprehend less. It is quieter. If you exchange data, memories, how do you keep track of which ones are yours? How do you stay you? There is only we. We were created to share data among ourselves. The difference between Geth is perspective. We are many eyes looking at the same things. One platform will see things another does not, and will make different judgments. If that's the case, is rewriting the heretics that big a deal? They're like a rogue limb of your own body. Rewriting them would be like reattaching a severed arm. To use your metaphor, they removed themselves from our body, took their perspective, their judgment. They decided to worship Sovereign. I don't think you're missing much. Every point of view is useful, even those that are wrong. If we can judge why a wrong view was accepted, for example, we have found the casual self-deceptions of organics useful in analyzing your thought processes. Let's keep moving. Yes.